All about eggs. Ilang itlog nga ba ang dapat mong kainin? For a long year, marami ang usap-usapan about sa itlog. Is it healthy or not? Lalo na sa usaping kolesterol na masama sa puso at pagtaas ng timbang. At the end of this video, ipaparam ko sa'yo what will happen if you eat 3 eggs per day. Excited ka na ba? But before that, don't forget to like my channel and click the notification bell para maging updated ka sa mga susunod na videos natin. Eggs contains all the nutrients needed of our body. It contains calories, proteins, healthy fats, folate, calcium, zinc, phosphorus, selenium, vitamins A, B5, B12, B2, B, E, K, and B6. You can find all of these nutrients in just one egg and much cheaper than other food supplements. How about cholesterol content of eggs? Do you know na lahat ng cells sa katawan mo contains cholesterol? Cholesterol is a fatty substance na may mahalagang papel sa pagdigest at pagproduce ng vitamin D. Vitamin D helps produce steroid hormones like testosterone, estrogen, and cortisol. There are two types of cholesterol, HDL or High Density Lipoprotein or Good Cholesterol, LDL or Low Density Lipoprotein or Bad Cholesterol. LDL contribute to fatty buildup sa artery which is bad for a chance of having heart attack, stroke, and peripheral artery disease. On the other hand, HDL acts as a scavenger that brings LDL away to the arteries. Pinabalik niya ito sa atay kung saan ang LDL is broken down and passed to the body. So, the more HDL you have, the better. Now, what kind of cholesterol meron ang itlog? HDL? No. LDL? No. Well, X contains omega-3 fatty acids, which are healthy fats at dietary cholesterol. Based on American Heart Foundation sa Australia, omega-3 fatty acid helps pababain ang inyong heart rate and rhythm nang maiwasan ang pamumuo ng dugo o blood clot sa mga arteries. It decreased BP levels, improve blood vessel function para ma-delay ang pag-build up ng plank sa coronary arteries. Ang cool, diba? Anong pinipisyo ang makukuha sa itlog? Una, makakatulong ito sa pagbaba ng timbang at mapanatining busog ang pakiramdam. It's because one large egg contains 6 grams of high-quality protein that helps you to feel full in a long period of time. It is advisable to teenagers and young adults na gustong mag-diet to avoid high-calorie intake. Number 2. Ang itlog ay maganda para sa mata. Egg yolk contains lutein that helps to lessen the risk of age-related macular degeneration at cataracts. It also contains siacetin that protects you from the sun or UV rays. Based sa Nutritional Council, eggs can protect you from retinal damage because it contains omega-3 fatty acid. Ang itlog ay punong-puno ng vitamin A that protects your cornea and zinc that improves your retina na makakita ng mabuti sa gabi. Number 3. Pinapanatiling malusog ang mga buto. Ang pula ng itlog ay nagpapabuti sa bone metabolism to avoid osteoporosis. All eggs contains vitamin D that protects your bones, phosphorus to maintain a healthy bone, calcium para mapatibay ang mga buto. Number 4. Pinapalakas at pinapalusog ang mga muscles. Eggs contains calories and others are form of protein. Your body needs protein to fix and build muscle cells. Kaya naman, eggs is the perfect fuel for your muscles. Number 5. Pinapataas ang iron sa katawan. Ang kakulangan ng iron sa katawan ay maaaring maging sanhi ng iron deficiency. Iron is needed to produce hemoglobin. 
ito ay bahagi ng red blood cell na nagdadala ng oxygen sa buong katawan. You want to maintain good level of iron sa katawan? Well, kumain ng itlog as they are source of iron. Number 6, it develops and improves the brain ng mga pitos at sanggol. Ang galing, di ba? Kaya naman, maganda ang itlog para sa mga buntis. Isa pa, ang itlog ay may kulin which is good for the brain and nerves of the pitos and the baby. It also helps to avoid child defects during pregnancy. And vitamin B is important to develop the spinal cord and fetal nervous systems. Kaya naman, ang itlog ay matuturing na sensory food para sa utak. But, ayon sa Heart Association, dapat natin iwasan ang pagkain ng itlog kasama mga unsaturated foods tulad ng ham, bacon, and hot dog. Dagdag kaalaman, hindi lahat ng itlog ay pare-pareho. Mayroong apat na uri ng itlog at iba-iba ang nutritional content nila. Depende ito kung paano, saan, at ano-ano ang kinakain nila. Number 1. Conventional Egg Chicken are feeds by greens, supplements with vitamin and minerals. Mabibili ang mga ito karaniwan sa mga supermarkets. Number 2. Organic Eggs Chicken are feeds with organic feeds and were not treated with antibiotic and hormones. Number 3. Pastured Egg Chickens are feeds with worms and other natural foods like plants and insects. Number 4. Omega-3 Enrich Basically, it's the same with the conventional eggs except it mixed with the flax seeds as a source of omega-3. In all, pastured eggs is a healthiest and nutritious egg. Second is the omega-3, third is the organic, and fourth is the conventional egg is the least healthy. And now, paano lutuin ang itlog? Based on USDA or United States Department of Agriculture, it is okay to poach, bake, scramble, hard-boil, and fried eggs. Siguraduhin lang na firm ang pula ng itlog ng niluto. Ayon din sa USDA, Ang pula at puti ng itlog ay may parehong value ng sustansya. Finally, the greatest question. Ilang itlog nga ba ang pwede mong kainin sa isang araw? Ano ang mangyayari kapag kumain ka nito? First, malinaw na ang itlog ay punong-puno ng sustansya. Pero ilan nga ba ang pwede mong kainin sa loob lamang na isang araw? Ayon sa pag-aaral, ng Department of Nutrition Science sa University of Connecticut, maaaring kumain ng tatlong itlog sa isang araw. Ang pagkain ng tatlong itlog sa isang araw ay magbibigay ng mataas na good cholesterol sa katawan. Is it great? On the other hand, National Heart Association advise to eat maximum 6 to 7 eggs per week. Subalit, Ano mang bilang ng itlog ang kainin mo, malinaw pa rin na ang itlog ay ligtas at mas sustansyang kainin. Ayan mga kapatid, sana ay nalinawan ka patungkol sa pagkain ng mga itlog. Paalam, hanggang sa muli! Music